Hi guys, so welcome to my first ever plan with me video. I did kind of want to do one last month where I did a theme of bumblebees and some honeycomb, uh, but in the end editing took so long and I never got around to posting it and by then I was already thinking about April. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna not post it and I'm just gonna go with April. Um, I've never done a plan with me before but I just love to doodle and I find that doodling can be really calming for me and I find that I also feel productive because technically I'm also planning. Um, so it has both aspects of feeling positive and productive which as you guys know on my channel I really promote. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me video. Uh, let me know any suggestions for improvement, um, you know, other than my art skills, because I know that those could use a little bit of development, but hopefully they will, you know, if I keep it up and keep doodling. Um, yeah, so this one's theme is Alice and Wonderland, because that is one of my favourite books. Uh, and it's got some really lovely quotes in there as well, which I've incorporated through the through the design this month. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I came up with. Okay guys, so this is the first time that I've ever done a voiceover, so hopefully this will not go 100% terribly. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you guys can see, I started off with doing a little like cover with Alice on it with some tea and some cards, because obviously cards feature quite heavily in both films, books and all of it. Um, I really enjoyed doing this sort of doodle this month. I as I've said before, I absolutely love Alice in Wonderland. Um, so here I'm doing a monthly spread and on the next page I'm doing a writing log where I can track how much words I've written. Um, now I'm moving on to uh, a little quotes page and a Victoria Institute tracker because there is so much I've got to get done in order to get the books out the door um, that I thought it was a good idea to have a tracker and then I wanted a quotes page so that I have something to look at and feel positive when I'm feeling down. I think it's really important to make sure that if you're doing a bullet journal that you have some positive uh, vibes going on in your journal, something that makes you happy when you look at it, um, because I think it really does improve your mood. Um, ah, yes, this kind of border. So I decided I would do a checkered border and oh my goodness, it took forever. If you guys are thinking at all, I don't know why you would, but if you're thinking at all of copying a design of mine or you thought that it looked good, uh, I do not recommend doing this kind of checkered border. It takes so, so long. It looks great, <laughs> but it might not be worth the effort. Um, I also really struggled to make sure that all of the lines and the it all lined up correctly. Anyway, as you can see, at the moment I'm doing weekly spreads. Weekly spreads, I kind of just leave with the number and the name because I like being able to uh, change it up as I go. So you can see a number, you can see the day of the week. But then um, I can sort of bullet journal almost in the classic way, events and things I've got to do and just sort of list it in like little sections so that I know what I've got to get done and things I need to remember. It keeps it more flexible, keeps it more open. And obviously, like I've said before, when running a business, you need that flexibility built in. Um, yeah, I kind of like the colours that I've done throughout the pages as in the fact that they've changed colours because it helps me keep the week separate uh, in my mind so I know that I can focus on different projects. As you'll see at the top it says project priority and that's because each week I'm going to focus on a different project and make sure that it goes out the door and all works well. Okay, so now we're moving on to some more like video blog idea stuff, uh, quotey stuff. So this might jump around a little bit because I didn't do it all necessarily in order, but this is like where I like to keep notes regarding publicity and marketing and themes and um, lots of other stuff that isn't necessarily specifically done in the month or down to the month it's where I keep track of information and other things like that I know other people will include habit trackers and things in their bullet journal whereas uh, I include business trackers and business ideas and decisions and things like that uh, so as you can see now I'm just hand drawing in some little detailed decorations like the little bottle that says drink me and a little uh, time piece that the rabbit used to to keep on time in Wonderland even though he's always late and um, and things like that and I find that these little details going back and putting them in afterwards is actually a lot easier than just putting them in there from the beginning um, so I think I'm going to do it like this um, in the future um, what do you think what do you think of the, the, the little character caricatures that I've drawn oh my goodness I should learn to speak um, but yeah oh and this is my um, penultimate spread of pages this is where I do notes and next month and I try to keep these spreads fairly bland 
because it allows obviously more room for me to do writing but also it allows me to imagine what I'm going to do next month. Now one of my absolute favourite quotes in the whole of the Alice in Wonderland you know world is imagination is the only weapon against reality. Uh, in the war against reality gosh you should learn to speak or even read um, but yeah that is one of my favourite quotes throughout the whole thing and I just had to put it in there um, on the last page so I see it the most often. Uh, and now as you can see like I said it jumps around a bit I went back and I added some caricatures um, and uh, a nice drawing on the quote of why sometimes I believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast which has such a different meaning when you've read Marissa Myers Harless I think how many times are gonna mention that book in this entire spread my goodness <laughs> anyway um, yes so I, I thought that it would be cool to have the rose sort of two different colors because um, obviously they painted the roses red um, so yeah it, I really love this month's spread and the doodling has been so fun okay so now you guys can see the 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 finished thing I'm gonna go back and flick through last week because like I mentioned before I wanted to show you guys before but I ended up not being able to because I couldn't get on top of anything that I was trying to do so as you can see like I said it's honeycomb and bumblebees and it's got you know that sort of similar theme where the the weekly spreads are very open very to-do list like um i've got themes and lists and stuff so yeah so that's my spread i hope that you guys have uh enjoyed listening to me witter i'm going to turn off now and turn the music up so you can enjoy the spread design for April. I hope you really liked it. I love Alice in Wonderland. It is one of the films I remember watching, you know, cross-legged in front of the TV as a child. I love the books. Um, and as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Heartless by Marissa Maya, which is a story about the Red Queen. So, you know, I was just all inspired by all of this Wonderland goodness to do a Wonderland spread. I have no idea what I'm going to do next month, um, but I'm, I've got a few ideas ticking over. As you guys can see, I have a, a themes page in the book and it's got to be an entire page because I have lots of ideas. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next week. I hope that you have positive and productive months uh, and I'll see you either in a vlog section or a book chatter video. Bye!